in the Gnostic work of Pistis Sophia, from which Jung quotes a story about the childhood of Christ. Mary is talking to Jesus. When you were a child, before the Spirit had descended upon you, when you were in the vineyard with Joseph, the Spirit came down from the height, and came unto me in the house like unto you, and I knew him not, but thought that he was you. And he said unto me, Where is Jesus, my brother, that I may go to meet him? And when he had said this unto me, I was in doubt, and thought it was a phantom tempting me. I seized him and bound him to the foot of the bed which was in my house, until I had gone to find you in the field, you and Joseph. And I found you in the vineyard, where Joseph was putting up the vine poles. And it came to pass, when you did hear me, saying this thing unto Joseph, and that you did understand. And you were joyful, and did say, Where is he, that I may see him? And it came to pass, when Joseph heard you say these words, that he was disturbed. We went up together, entered into the house, and found the spirit bound to the bed. And we gazed upon you and him, and found that you were like unto him. And he that was bound to the bed was unloosed. He embraced you and kissed you, and you also did kiss him, and you became one. This particular image is part of what was called the citizen an early Christian heresy. According to this doctrine, the Christ nature, the divine nature of Jesus, descended on the ordinary human being at a certain time, usually thought to be at his baptism. It entered him and performed its work through him. And when its work was done and Jesus was on the cross, it abandoned him. He had to suffer the consequences of the work which the Spirit had done through him. Jung considers this a very important image for understanding the nature of individuation. The self does behave somewhat like this in relation to the ego. It descends on the ego, imposes assignments on the ego, which the ego would much rather not do, and then the spirit leaves the ego to pay the bill. Jung comments on this quotation from Pistis Sophia. It appears from the context of this fragment that Jesus is the truth sprouting from the earth, whereas the spirit that resembles him is justice looking down from heaven. These two terms, justice and truth, have interesting uses in the Old Testament. The basic idea is that truth concerns sincerity, authenticity, fidelity to one's reality. Psychologically, truth means being genuine, being what one truly is. This is what sprouts up from below. Justice or righteousness, on the other hand, is defined as submission to principles, to laws of proper conduct, to spiritual standards that have been previously established. What we have here is something very close to a pair of opposites in which genuine truthful being grows from the earthly concrete reality of one's self, whereas one's spiritual rightness comes from above. So the passage describing the coming together of Christ's heavenly brother with himself corresponds to the coming together of truth with justice or righteousness.